All right, we've got a boss fight ahead of us. Um, we've got Elissa over here. Um, and meanwhile, Elinia and Malkeshar have power of the Union on their side, which means that they have a, an attack, um, which is 29 damage, three attacks. Can only seemingly be used offensively, doesn't seem to work defensively. Um, what's special about this Union attack, that it doesn't tell you anywhere in the game, is that you have to be next to each other to use it, so Malkeshar has to be right next to Alinea for this to work. Um, and yeah, the fact that it's only able to be used offensively is also something that you don't ever find out in the game. So it would be good if the game designers told you that. Now, um, if I sound a little bit frustrated, it's because this is my fifth attempt at this scenario. Uh, and this is usually the point where I start to get grumpy. Um, none of the other scenarios I've had to replay Pete five times. Um, just everything about this is ludicrously difficult. Basically, the main issue is that drones are respawning constantly. You've got an insanely powerful opponent with a only, and I've only got two people who can hurt her. Because at this point in the game, anyone else who tries to attack her, the damage will just be absorbed and not take effect. Um, they are alright, but they're not up to her standards by any means. And yeah, I mean, this is just generally very tricky. I'm in a situation here where there's not a whole lot that can be done. Shack style drones have a nasty habit of hitting with all three of their attacks on 50%, as just happened there. Okay, enemy units can be seen, I don't really mind. Having played this four times already, I know what it is. It's a protected drone, it can't range me from there. There are going to be more drones spawning down here. Now at the front lines I have to do something different, because at the front lines I need to get these drones out of the way, um, and I need to advance extremely slowly, and that basically means not advancing at all for the next X number of turns. Okay, how can you get the best amount of healing in? Actually, you just go back here, and that's how you get the best amount of healing in, and you can actually go up there, and the spectres can deal with the attack on this flank. No kill, but that's okay. There I get the kill, and only one door open at the moment. I'll open the other one up once I'm a bit more confident. Right, the worms do their worm thing. The three more drones respawn. Now this is interesting because these guys can respawn at pretty much any level as any drone. Uh, and in this instance I've got one of the worst possible outcomes, which is two level two drones. Uh, and these guys are nasty. So in the background here, while my front line is dealing with the yellow drones and the purple drones in the room, I'm going to try and let Elinia and her friends deal with these drones down here. Because I'm going to need a big amount of welly in order to do so, and unfortunately she is going to take damage doing that, which is what I'm trying to avoid. Because since these are the only people who can hurt Elissa... Okay, not quite max damage, but almost max damage. Erethan, you now come in and manage to avoid getting poisoned, which is virtually a miracle. I want you to come in and do some damage, and Malkeshar can maybe take on the other one. Let's see what happens at the gate first. If you can kill this one... Good, now I can open up the gates, and I can kill more drones at once, but over here I have to be careful. So Slashy is almost at a level, I would like to give him a good strong kill. How best to do that? Probably bring Malkeshar around here, have him attack the weak one. And then use you, unfortunately you're just out of the range of the light, to deal some damage. Not 
as much damage as I would have hoped for. Um, is it worth getting, letting Igor get poisoned? Yeah, probably. Okay, Igor is poisoned, we'll be careful with that. I can't pull my other healer away to deal with this because she's very much needed at the front. Alright. Alright, wanna tag team Deathy out here because Deathy is looking a bit deathy. Tag team in slashy instead. Oh, poor show, poor show. Okay, well, at least I'm safe back here. Everyone else stay where you are for the moment, just gain up a couple of points of health because no one else can uh, can get in on a healer. Galas is almost at, on full so he can move out of the way soon. Alright. Now, for healing efficiency, I want you to stay where you are. You can actually go out here and heal. Well, let's see what happens to these other spectres first. Very poor, and that's actually a dangerously weak spectre now. Why are you... Oh, you're in Alinea's aura. Okay, got to change that up. Ah, dang, okay. Move you back, move you back. Pull you in to here. Right, that's more, that's more like it. Still, again, an absolutely abysmal performance from my spectres over there. Purple drones are respawning over here. I'm going to have to, once I'm through with the yellow, I am going to have to deal with them. Okay, now I get all the hits over here. But I don't want to do anything else, because I don't want to risk it. Now of all of the pressures that there are in this scenario, time is not really one of them. So I don't need to worry too much about the time factor, which is good. You get the kill. None of this is proceeding very swiftly, but that's okay. Everyone is almost up on full health, and I'm going to get some more drone respawns back here as well soon. And now you can see Alinea has summoned uh, another. Sorry, Alyssa. Did I mention that these names are confusing? I mentioned it in one of the previous failed playthroughs. This is my, what, fifth attempt? I'm going to start losing track of how many attempts soon. If this one doesn't succeed. Alright, let's see. Alright, that's a little bit too much damage for me to be happy with, so you, Blady, go run to the back. 
see a slash you can get the kill. Uh, yes. All right, 45. Very nice. And Deathy can come out here. And uh, I think maybe for now, yeah, why not? So why not get five out of six hits and now you are quite a target for nasty enemies. All right, Malka Shah though is on full health. Alinea's on full health. Everyone else is looking good. It's just Deathy up at the front who's not looking too great. Some of my spectres, basically. Fortunately, a few misses there. All right, we've got some drones spawning. You've spawned. Now, this is nice. This is a protected drone, which means that it can't get in range. Um, down here, though, we've got a runner drone. We've got one more level three. And I, once again, we'll need to come out and clear these guys up before I run in to deal with the rest down here. So you come back. You're not useless. You're just not hugely useful. So you deal with this guy. Not bad, not bad. Not bad from you either. I don't want you to get hurt um, because you're one of the crucial elements in the boss fight because um, in order to have any chance at all of winning this, Elissa needs to be slowed. Okay, gonna move you there. Gonna move you here. Gonna move you down one so that you get the light, and then I'm going to melee attack you. I was hoping that was going to be a kill, but it was not to be. Okay, this seems good. Now I just need to get rid of these guys. Go Gala. Yes, you go Gallus. Now Ledinor is, if I'm honest, more or less useless when it comes to actually... Ledinor and Arathan are both going to be, they're not going to be my, uh, my top picks. Again, the maximum damage. Um, now, let you know if you can get two hits in, you will be poisoned. But that's not the end of the world. Okay, well, apparently I needed three hits. My maths must be off. Alright, that's not great, um, but you're not crucial at this stage. And I'm getting to the position where now I can very slowly start thinking about moving forward. Hopefully, some of these purple units will come out and be in a position where I can kill them. I think probably not next turn, but the turn after. Yeah. Alright, so we've got another runner drone, we've got an assault drone, they should be coming in this turn, and if I can fight them off, then the next turn is the one where I should move. Meanwhile, get thee to a healer, Erethan. You need healing. You can just sit there and heal in your own time. Um, well, this is, this is an interesting one. I'd like to move Malkesha. But he will need to, to come forward. I think he'll still be able to come forward enough if I put a Spectre here to heal first. Same with Detea. We'll see. Oh, 
Okay, so now this assault drone is softened up. Hopefully softened up for Blady to get the kill. Yes, good. Alright. Now... Now oh, there's a shame there's another runner drone here. Because there are more drones back here, as you'll see in a second. Someone can come here and maybe get the kill. Alright, we got the kill. So, now the question is how to advance into this room in such a way as to not die. Um, now, usually my path in the past, what I've done with this is, is use, uh, um, use a linear as the main mover and shaker. I think actually it makes more sense to use Galas, mainly because Galas is as tough as tough as nails. So I come forward one, I'll be I'll be immediately susceptible to attacks from not only the Chaos Warlord, but also everybody else. Despite being the Chaos Warlord, she is not in fact chaotic, she is neutral. But alright, if, um, if you hop out here, you can't reach, you're weak. Um, the others, I'm just going to have to hope you don't do too much damage. And what I then I think really want is... You're tough, so I can put you on the front lines too without worrying too much about you. Have a linear here for the healing. And for the light for her. And then I can plant Malkeshar over here. Well, someone is going to take an absolute battering this turn. I don't know who it's going to be. This is always, this is pretty much the hardest point. We should not be attacking her directly. It is pointless. Let Helenia and Malka Shah deal with her instead. I, I sure will. So that wasn't great, and now I'm not in the most ideal of positions. I would like to be in the place where... So first of all, Galas is going to have to retreat, because he's just been whacked. And I don't have much space to retreat to. And all the way back here, I guess. And there's going to be a couple more units springing out here any second. While you're here... I'm going to move Elinia and Malkashar in a minute, but I want to take advantage of Elinia's light attack to see if I can wipe out this assault drone, or at least reduce its utility. Yeah, there it goes. That was cool. So then I want to move Malkashar out to the side, and Elinia up one so that I can attack the boss, and then down here, this is tricky, don't want anyone to get killed. I don't have a particularly strong record of uh, units darting around to the side like this, 
um, in order to do things. Usually they just end up getting horribly killed. Um, let's see if... Hmm. Sad that there's a spectre here that, that no one else can get through here. Um, if I can, if I can wipe this up. No, what am I thinking? Of course that wouldn't work um, because that would have been game-changing if that had worked. So of course it didn't. Um, and as a result, I think I am going to probably want this this sentry drone to be slowed. So ah. Uh, Lose something in a shite if I play it like this. Still, it's it's pretty much necessary because I I'd be I'd be astonishingly lucky to be able to kill this thing. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. Now I need to slow Alinea. Elissa, sorry. Names. Now you see, she's just absorbing the damage now. She's done 20 damage to me and I've done nothing to her, except I have slowed her. So that isn't nothing, nothing. I still think probably all these units are going to come and just beat on Detea next turn. And I really don't want to lose a Prowler. But let's see what the Union can do. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, this is the second time in two attempts that the Union has done nothing. It has not even hit once on 70% to hit. So yeah, that's crap. Okay, good. Um, what can I do? Nothing much, just wait for my units to get killed, I suppose. Everyone else stay where you are. All right, that was a bad, bad turn, and it was exactly when I needed a good turn. Unfortunately, sometimes the AI has bad turns as well, <laughs> and that was definitely one of them. All right, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <clears throat> So ideally, I want you to do the slowing. Yep, you can do that from there. Alright, that hurt a bit, but it's not the worst thing in the universe. You come in, do some glaive damage, hopefully one hit KO. Yep, there we go. Come on! Now it's up to Elinia and Malkesha to alternate Union attacks on her until she dies. Ha! Our attacks actually have an effect on her now! Now that we hit, yes they do. This is not over yet! The coward is fleeing. We must not allow her to escape. All right. <laughs> That's the first time I've got that far. Um, all I needed to do was hit her three times with the Union attacks. And amazingly, I managed to fob it every single time. So she's fled. And now it's time for me to chase her. First of all, I need to make sure I don't get um, horribly mobbed by nasty Rayblade and drone units. So I bring my Spectres in for a defensive role. We got gates down to the south. Now, as usual, this is Battle for Wesnoth, so there isn't an actual time pressure on this other than the turn limit. And as far as the turn limit is concerned, I'm not too worried at this point. You stay where you are. You come down here. You need real healing as well. 
so you go here and then I think I will be hopefully able to get out of range of any drones that spawn at the back here. Meantime these two can attack my spectres to their heart's content. Okay, good. Time for some free experience. I want you two just to stay where you are a little longer. Or maybe not. Maybe you should move. Yeah, let's move. Just in case these guys come from behind. No kill. Maybe Sathinia can... Oh no, I'm going to need you for the healing. Okay, Deathy, nice work. And maybe Alinea yourself can actually... There we go. So let's attack the gates. Ambushed by a worm. Oh no. Alright, well, I'll kill the worm. Get my ass whooped by the worm. Let in all. You can also come and open a door. Okay, there are drones here. This is the part of the scenario that I hate. You've got to go down incredibly narrow passages where there are constantly respawning drones. Okay, well, let's see how it turns out. You're going to come and attack Ledinor, which is not the worst thing in the world. But there are two of you down there. And it looks like that is indeed the way to go. So I have to get powerful units down there and just wipe them out and progress as fast as I can. Alright, the worm turns. Okay, Ledinor did not get as tenderized as I thought he might. And he can actually try and get the kill here. There we go. That was a little risky, he could have died. But it's the kind of risk that, um, you know, What's life worth doing if something, something, something? All oh, right, demons, uh, level three demons. This is probably a job for Malkeshar, to be honest. Come down here and um, take out this protector drone. And back here there isn't anything, so that's a much more appealing pathway. Put you next to Ledinor. You also here. All right, good. There are more drones back here, or there will be. That looks very, very drony. So let's see how this goes. All right, so. Lol, Malkashar, once again, not on his A game. And against the protector drones, you're worse when you attack them because they've got the steadfast ability. Still, three hits should do it. <laughs> I see, he's there. 
All right, well, you did get three hits. Okay, good for you. Fan-fucking-tastic. All right, Alinea, you're on nearly full health. You come down here and uh, sort this shit out, basically. Yellow drone can fight you. I'm gonna put a healer behind you. Uh, so I don't get much potential for healing this, this round. And drones are starting to appear behind me, so better get everyone out of there. The drones could also come this way. How far can that demon... That demon can also reach this way. Okay, so if anyone stands there or there, they're probably toast. Maybe a spectre could tank it, but uh, even then... Okay, well, I'm going to try and tank it with a spectre. Oh, no, there's another... Okay. Yeah, no way. All right. Oh, these passages are brutal, man. So I think yellow goes before purple, so it depends who this guy wants to attack. <clears throat> I don't want to be attacked by two at once at least, so just to there, and then we'll take it slow. Meanwhile, I'm not going to be able to get everyone into these passages, am I? No, not quite. So I ought to go and kill this one. And anyone else who respawns behind. Beautiful. Alright, hopefully no one can range me from over there. And you, in case the demon comes this way, Gallus, you... I guess you should just stay where you are. Actually, all of you should. May accept Arathun. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go! Interesting. I have to say... I didn't actually think that Elinia could get poisoned. I thought that was something that could not happen to her. Not sure why I thought that, but I clearly did think it. Probably because... Oh, well, she... Yeah, she just... Huh. Oh, because there was a healer behind. Okay. Yeah, so she can be poisoned. She's not unpoisonable. She should still take the lead here, but just in case she doesn't kill this guy... Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god, it's all over. Alright, union time! <clears throat> okay, not brilliant, not brilliant at all. And if anyone comes out here in front... So if anyone does come out here in front, they will get attacked. Um, there is another drone back here. They're gonna keep. They're gonna keep coming until I get out of here. But I can't get out of here because there are too many enemies. Alinea is basically going to get dealt quite some damage this turn. I'm going to go in here with Galas, because he can slow. Alright, so that thing now can't at least reach Alinea. Galas is going to need some healing pretty soon. Um, everyone else, please progress. 
and I've just got to hope for the life of me that Galas does not get himself, that um, Alinea does not get himself killed by the by the Zephyrs. Hopefully they will suicide on her, and this warrior still can't reach anyone. Okay, no suicide, but not what I would call intelligent fly either. The yellow troops are coming thick and fast. We've just got another sentry drone that's popped out of nowhere. Um, another drone has spawned down here. Um, that's a worm, that's fine. I'm not sure I want to use the union attack here, because although it would be advantageous, it would then mean that Alinea wouldn't get to fight. Um, I could fight first with Alinea without using the Union, and then use the Union with Mal. That might be the best bet. Yeah, alright, let's try that. Good, alright, now I can use the Union. 32 damage. Well, that lady is gone. Um, now these units are irritatingly placed now, such that it's not going to be easy to defend against both of them. Now there might even be more drones back here that I can't see yet. Let's have a look. Okay, there are more yellow units. Guys, out of the picture. Um, Galas, you really need health, but you're really not going to get it here, are you? Okay. performance. Okay, I need to get someone a bit tankier up front here. I feel like I should actually, I mean if it wasn't for the fact that one of my weakest units was over here just about to get attacked by a level 3 demon, um, and there's a skirmisher here too. Well, at least you're pretty tanky, Igor. Uh, so... Well, if I pop you there, it should be the place... Hmm, okay. Now, if you're here or here, only one of these folks should be able to get around. Ah, uh, but no, there's... There, in particular. And if... If Galas then goes there uh, it doesn't make that much difference because the problem is there's there's more and one of them's a skirmisher so if I try and block up the path here they could probably just sneak around the side and get me At the moment, at least, only two of them can get in on any given unit, so I can just hope against hope that they don't kill Sathinia. 
Garth is going to run away this way. Towards healing. Arathan's actually going to stay where he is. And you also run this way towards healing. You also run down here. And then I think... Uh, yeah, just fingers really crossed here. Okay, so that was a very bad turn for the AI. They also played it really stupidly. Um, so I can now afford to do something a bit more interesting. Um, for instance, well, Malkesha... I need to get these yellow units out of my face pronto. This demon warrior has not yet been aggroed, but will be soon. And there are still, uh, there's still another Zephyr down here. The Union would do 32 damage here. I could bring someone in from behind who could do some, maybe even this Bane Blade. Then use the Union. What the? Look, this place is floating over an infinite void! There are Lords of Light! Wait, I can see stars in it. So the sky is below us? Are we walking upside down then, or... Oh, I'm so confused! So this is what the bridge between our worlds looks like. Malkeshar. We probably should avoid sending spirits across the void, lest they become trapped in it. Hmm, indeed. That is a risk we cannot afford right now. Alright, down goes that demon. Everyone's looking pretty badly hurt at the moment. And quite a lot of units can get in on my troops. There's at least three who can. So Gallus, I want you to go down and get some healing. Erethan risky but you could go to this house that will give me some more room to play That's not the worst position, and I just really hope you can get a slow in without getting owned in return. Alright, well you're not, you're not owned. And then I'm just going to put lead in ore here. Or am I? So this guy could do... Maximum of 16 damage. This guy could do, one way or another... A lot of damage, 40. Yeah, just those two without the, uh, without the Zephyr would already be enough to kill him. So instead I'm going to put him here. And then only two people can get in on Detea. Alright, this is a bit of a desperate position, but we'll see how it goes. And remember not to send spirits across the infinite void. Not a sentence that I have uttered all that many times in my life. In fact, 
Would it make more sense to put Igor out in front? I mean, he's in the light, but... Uh, 16, 40... Plus 27. Yeah, well, they could kill him. And he's only got 40 defense there. All right, you stay where you are, more or less. Big guy. I'll just move you down here, just in case it becomes useful. Okay. Okay, a bit unlucky from the AI there. Um, but on the plus side for the AI, they've just summoned sentry drones behind me. Two of them as well. So, okay, lovely. All right. Gotta watch my butt. <clears throat> Gotta not go out over this void, because if I do, I'm in trouble. Gonna hope Detea can get it without dying. One hit would do it. And an after maximum level, and you're back up to full health on 70 hit points. Fantastic. Just what I was looking for. Galas, shame you can't reach the reach the food tree. But you don't want to go down there anyway. It's not, not healthy for you. Okay, am I out of the woods yet? Well, the answer is no, because there are still irritating sentry drones behind me. But at least I can get a little bit of healing in this turn without having to stress too much. I'm just going to leave Deathy the Spectre here. Igor, you come and kill the tree. Alright, we've got open terrain in front of us. Um, I'd really rather you didn't attack Slashy the Spectre, so I'm going to move you up here. Uh, so you can attack Erethon if you want. Alright, this is good. Pretty mysterious why these guys think it's a good idea to attack spectres. Um, as we can see, it wasn't the uh, most effective of potential choices. There will be more drones. There are always more drones, but it looks like Yellow Player has mostly exhausted its finances by now. Got to get some spectres out here to check that, though. And my spectres are needed to fight. Nice one, I don't know, that was perfect. Perfection in action. Alright, no one's scary I can see just yet. Don't really want to put you in there, at least not without... First of all, you go on there. Okay, now I'm not worried about my spectres going in. And by spectres... Oh no, she, she's looking hurt. I need to get her healed. Mind you, my spectres are hurt too. Uh. Come on, come on. Two hits. Just about managed. All right.
Don't want to do that just to heal the, heal the spectre. You stay where you are. You come back. All right. This guy's like, hello! Locking my escape. And oh, another one up here. All right, well, at least I should be able to avoid aggroing that one. You, your, your slowing trick worked so well last time. You just gained 10 hit points and you're going to lose some of them, but such is the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, well maybe I can get you to a level instead. That would do the trick. block this southern path and allow some of my other units to get healing. Not as many as I'd like unfortunately and it still might well be the case that she comes around. It's more urgent for you isn't it? You just stay there for a moment lady get a couple of hit points and we'll see what happens you'll probably come and attack over the chasm oh running away won't save you another one ah how many of these buggers are there Many is the answer. All right, so there's a demon warrior who's kind of slow. There's some zephyrs who can come out this far. There is a ray blade. It feels like this point ought to be defensible. Or maybe even this point, but yeah. No, that's a bad point to defend because they get one more attacker. Don't want the spectres to go there because I don't want the spectres to get fireballed. I will actually just I'm just gonna put Igor on the front line just for a moment. Don't path over the chasm. This protector drone up here is very irritating. I think I'm just going to have to leave Arathan at the back to deal with it. Can you slow? Come on. Okay, not dead, but wounded. Alright, <laughs> this is a great place for a protector drone to spawn, because it's useless. I'm really glad that's not a flying one. 
So what did they say? My, my spectres are going to get lost in space if I go up here or something. Well, Ledinor can fight this one off. Alright, how are you going to play this? I'll be interested to see. Then maybe this is not actually... If the demons can go over the void but my spirits can't, then it might not be the best place for me to take a fight like this. It might be better for me to back up a bit, have them come to me. Guess we'll find out. Okay, so they don't want to fight. Really? Oh, you and your poison. And one of them spawned down here. That's the most irritating possible place that you could have spawned, mate. I have to say it. But you just kill, you just kill. And then you level. Perfect. 64 hit points now. You're a real real tank of a spirit. Ow! Ow! Okay. Ow. Poor showing. And now this one can reach. So I'm going to use a spectre. Okay, so this assault was not hugely effective. I can put Galas on this rather weak area, and he can drain, hopefully, drain this Zephyr. All right, that wasn't that wasn't great. How much damage do you do? Twelve five. How much damage do you do? Fifteen five. All right. If you do the union, then you will not. Then Malkeshar won't be able to move. Don't want to do that. You're getting closer to a level, though not super close. And now Keshar can come down here. Get that three hit KO. And now what the Demon Warrior only the Demon Warrior aptly named Hades only has one choice, and it is to attack him. Now over here, this assault drone could come and do the same thing. I'm, I'm so paranoid now about this uh, this terrain. I'm going to move all my spectres manually. All right, we see Alyssa once again. She can't get there. You'll be in range of the demon if you do this, but that's actually okay by me. Okay, there are more drones over here on the walls. That one can't reach. This one can't reach. This one... This one can just about reach Malkeshar. And you can press forward. Tempting to get Igor just to take this, but then if he does, 
he's going to get swarmed by enemies from the flank. So I'm not going to do it just yet because it doesn't actually advantage me uh, in any way to get houses in this terrain. Well, Demon Warrior comes in and embarrasses himself. You want to fight the demon? And with Elissa in sight for the second, third, second time this scenario, that's where we're going to take a break. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You've been watching Cyber Neuro Druid play through the scenario of the Dark Hive 22B of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown. And uh, this was my fifth attempt. Woohoo! I made it.